science and research only make sense if they end up improving people's lives and the world. As an individual, I want to contribute more to the society. I want to learn how can I, with my research and my skills, develop technologies that can help to treat cancer and help these patients to survive better. As researchers, we are not educated to think about business. To make calls and just asking for money for my product is very difficult for me. To have quantitative values, for instance, how many tanks are in the world, <laughs> how many fish tanks. The capability is what makes us different from the others. What is our uniqueness? What do we offer that the others don't? How much is our product scalable? This was an issue that we never thought about. Change the mindset from developing things to get it to the market for us that just want to see the technology being used. It's a real change in mindset. We find something that, okay, this could be useful, yes, but is it applicable or not? Sometimes it's not. We are truly helping teams not only select the best applications for their technologies, see if they have opportunities, and self-select themselves to go through uh, with their wish to become entrepreneurs or to commercialize their technology. They learn that there are several different ways of looking at the very same reality and the very same reality can be understood differently and this is very important for them as researchers and to help them to getting out of their comfort zone and the boxes they are used to. When I see the paper, you're engaging in this project while well, Clips of pneumonia. <laughs> I thought, what is this? And I, I got so nervous. Getting to know the technology because it's very complicated. The language is so specific. So yeah, the beginning was so tough to understand what actually we were working on. They had to explain it a lot to me about their technology and the science behind it all. And then we have to do a lot of explaining about the facts and the assumptions. Like, we don't know this. And they're like, but where do you get that? And I was like, we technically we don't, but we get there <laughs> by that and that assumption. Suddenly you can realize that what you do in the lab every day can actually turn into a product and you can make money out of it. We believe that we have a big impact on the researchers' mindset and researchers that have been through the program when they go back to the lab. We believe they think differently because they have been exposed to new concepts that it's not usual for researchers to think about them. So at this point, in 15 years, there's been more than 500, I would say, researchers who've gone through the program. In the beginning, the thoughts of the researchers was typically, is this a, a interesting a scientific question and can I get published? The 500 who've gone through the program have learned to ask one more question, which is, what's the potential application? What problem can I solve? And so it's now part of their thinking. So I think that the researchers that come here, that's exactly what they're looking for. They want to know, how do I go from what I just discovered in the lab to providing a product or a service that's going to make the world a better place?